Hi, I'm Graham. I'm the Insights Manager at finder.com.au. Now, today we saw the Orbier cut the cash rate for the first time in over 30 months. So it means we're going to see some movement in the housing market where there hasn't been a lot of movement in recent months. These are our four things for homeowners and potential buyers to watch over the coming months. So the first thing you need to watch out for in the market is are we going to see any more rate cuts by the end of the year. We survey economists every month in Finder. Two thirds of them are expecting another rate cut by the end of the year and about a third are expecting two more. So we could see more cuts on the way as well as this one. How will that impact homeowners? Well, Finder research predicts that each cut will save the average borrower about $700. So there could be a lot of savings on the way over the next few months. So the second thing to watch out for is APRA's lending guideline buffer. Now this basically tells banks how much they need to decide that a borrower can afford to pay back before they give them a loan. The cash rate is a certain amount and the banks need to see how much higher of a rate a borrower could potentially be able to afford. The basic change means that now in the market, the bank will need to look at whether the consumer can afford to pay back 3.75% it's two and a half percent above the current rate rather than seven percent so it's a lot lower it means more people can get into the market and we could see increased interest in investing in housing the third thing to look out for is the auction clearance rate now this is the percentage of homes that are put up for auction every weekend that actually go on to sell it used to be almost every home and it's dropped quite a lot to you know one in two homes recently but we've seen that figure bounce back in some australian capitals if it continues to bounce back that could be an indication that property prices are going to go up which would be good for homeowners but bad for potential new homeowners So the fourth thing that could have a big impact on the market is the first home buyer deposit scheme. This is a government scheme to encourage people onto the bottom of the housing ladder by reducing the required deposit to buy a home from 20% to 5%, which sounds great, but there's a lot of risk involved. The first thing is if you're borrowing 95% of the cost of your home, you're gonna pay interest on that for the whole life of the loan. So that's going to be quite expensive. And the second thing is, if you can only afford a 5% deposit, the bank could potentially see you as a higher risk borrower and give you a higher interest rate. So it could be very expensive in the end, but it'll be interesting to see what activity this generates and how many people jump on the housing ladder with 5% deposits. So whether you're a homeowner or a potential homeowner, those are the four things to keep an eye on in the market that will determine whether we see prices improve or continue to decline. We will be following all this news as it continues over the next few months on Finder, and you can find links to interesting articles in the description.